In this video, we're going to teach you how to update a fire resource. So we're starting with the fire patient resource that we were just working with, and we're probably going to change just a couple of few, uh, fields in it. But what we need to do first is make sure that the payload that we have contains a data element for ID. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. So the easiest way to do that in this case is just to copy the results that we got earlier, which contains the ID, and just paste it into the payload that we have up top. And there, and that brings in the ID. Now we can go ahead and make our changes. Uh, let's say what I want to do in this case is modify my name instead of Brian. Let's call myself Dilbert. And then maybe make myself just a little younger because that's always a good thing. I'll be five years younger at 1995. And that's all we need to do with that for an update. And the next thing is the operation. So we're not getting something. We actually want to update. And the update is the put. Change it to the put. I'm all set. There's the fire server. Here's the resource that we're interested in modifying and the specific ID of that resource. And once we have that, just go ahead and click send. You get a status back of 200 saying we're all OK. And what you notice down here is that it brings back the results. We updated our patient resource. But now you notice that the version ID actually changed to number two. And then our name changed to Dilbert. And our birth date is now a bit younger.